interesting developments here taking place in GTII as we can see here the price action from today on the five minute chart as we had consolidated within the 12 and a half to almost 13 cent range and for some reason heading towards almost to the end of market close we had an interesting development here as an influx of volume started coming in to the buy side and breaking out of the 50 day uh well cro well the seven day simple moving average crossing over the 50 day uh simple moving average and the influx of volume coming in here as we see now breaking over the 200 day simple moving average the seven day crossing over the 50 and the 200 uh simple moving average to close above and almost hit 14 cents and that's that's breaking for me uh to see this because you know we've we've never seen a breakout such as this um in a in a long time so this could mean something um just speculation of mine um and you know um also we we do have the cost of borrow fee uh actually going up and um over the past couple of months it had been you know between i think the early teens maybe like eight or ten percent twelve percent around there but now uh as a recent we see now from 18.44 percent to now uh 21.26 percent cost to borrow percentage fee and uh, with one million one hundred thousand shares available uh, to borrow but uh, I don't know if there's any type of correlation with the action that we we just saw here as I replayed the last bit of uh, market market open and if this is the case for sure I mean we don't know what else was involved in this influx of volume coming in for GTII but in my opinion I I, I believe that this is um bullish I mean, this, this is showing me some type of sentiment on the bullish side and um now seeing the 50 day simple moving average curling up to you know perhaps quite um you know try to meet with the 200 day uh simple moving average um as i just show you a quick example of how that would look like and it would probably look something like this and then we would have that golden cross happen to um that the golden cross would happen on the five minute chart and perhaps who knows maybe on tuesday since memorial day is a bank holiday and the stock market is closed we could see a potential for more upside direction and in hopes that perhaps we see this break over 14 cents and possibly hit 15 cents as the next level of resistance um but let's let's do check out how the larger time frames are looking um as you can see this is also looking nice here in the 15 ginormous uh breakout here on the 30 minute the hourly we'll zoom in a little bit to see how this looked like here um previously a lot of consolidation a lot of barcoding action here um uh, from i want to say that is around the beginning of may when you had this breakout from uh what was this from 12 and a half cents to almost 20 cents Sort of like a little a little tiny cycle here where we got a pop, then consolidate and then short, and then tune it again here. Maybe it could happen one 
one time uh one more time and finally see a breakout um and in hopes that perhaps we see a, an ultimate breakout and try to break over 20 cents within i don't know just hypothetically speaking within the next week or so um also uh take uh take into accordance that um the cat system too um the cat system is being implemented and could uh take effect at the end of this month on the 31st i believe um not too sure don't quote me on it but of course always do your due diligence and do your research on these things and what effect that this can actually have on equities options data and also um otc uh, which of course go um gtii is part of the otc markets um so that being said um I, I wouldn't really know for sure until we do see what what happens Tuesday and if we all if we actually do get that breakout uh, that next daily candle for GTII to break over 15 cents and perhaps come right back into this area here between uh, 16 to 17 and a half cents eh, around there to consolidate and maybe break out even more who knows but other than that my sentiment as of right now just seeing this uh it's leaning towards bullish in my opinion not financial advice of course uh you're you're on your own decision maker of your money and your investments as long as you're playing the safe and uh you choose to you treat this as so but um other than that that is my quick uh, video for you guys, short and sweet. And um, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. So take care and peace, blessings, love, health and wealth, like Mark R says. And uh, take care.